This video contains pre-in-game Marvel Cinematic Universe spoilers. No in-game spoilers, but everything before that may be spoiled. Also, um, we're basing this completely on house stereotypes, so if that bothers you, sorry. Oh, this is awkward. I've never done this in front of people. <laughs> you can move on for all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Castaway Brothers. What's up? Taking over, how's that yeah. for an intro? It's our channel now! Right. I'm, I'm only part of good channels. <laughs> <laughs> That's you why are, you're staying. <laughs> You've been part of Castaway Brothers twice now. Angela, keep this in. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep it in. I also have a YouTube channel, Java Moody. It's just my name. Do you post anything on there? Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, I yeah, Goblin Market, seven dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, oh, we're sorry, still this... waiting for your intro to the oh, video. Yeah, this is yeah, the intro. Ahead. This is the intro. Who's the two? <laughs> Does everyone hey, everybody, know my it's your friendly intro, neighborhood hot be, mess. This is going to be really awkward. No, no, yeah, no, I just did. Do you want me to do your oh, intro for you? so awkward. Did I not just do it? You said, and I quote, Java, don't watch my video. Oh, yeah, I did say that. I have no idea what the intro is. Okay. Alright, cut. We gotta start. No, 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 this is fine. It was fun. a joke. Hey, everyone, this is me. <laughs> Your friendly neighbor, like, hi, miss. Hi, miss. And his <laughs> face. Okay, so these are my friends. These are not hired actors that I just asked to be. What are you talking about? We are so professional. I didn't read the script. <laughs> <laughs> it was a script. <laughs> I'm the Tom Holland of this one. Speaking of Tom Holland, we're here sorting uh, the Avengers into, <laughs> into Hogwarts houses because somebody's gonna start this video. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys introduce yourselves and sort yourselves. I'm Adam. Uh, I'm Andrew. Andrew. Okay, I wasn't done yet. <laughs> we're the Castaway Brothers. We're the Castaway Brothers. I was trying to do the thing. Fair enough. I'm a Hufflepuff. I am a Slytherin. Uh, my name's Jabba, and I'm a Gryffindor. He's a Ravenclaw. He's a Gryffindor. Gryffindor. <laughs> My name is Josh. I am a Slytherin. I'm also Adam. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a Gryffindor. And I'm Angela, and you guys know I'm a Hufflepuff, because it's the best one. <laughs> Objectively. Objectively. Two Hufflepuffs in the house. <laughs> also, also, we are, we are, also two Gryffindors. I was like, we actually haven't even had except for the one that doesn't matter. There's <laughs> <laughs> Hufflepuffs here. I know what I said. <laughs> Sorry to all so those people close. I know. I'm not. So, as you, claws, you are loved. And we apologize. You have to watch Hufflepuffs in this video. Uh, we that's want, enough. We want to hire at some Raven Claws, but uh, wasn't in the budget. None of them were good enough. So. Um, <laughs> Damn. If you can shit on Hufflepuffs, I get to have this too. I, now that we've said language, is language okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. no, G rated. Oh. G rated. Oh, G Willis, oh, you're Mr. Java? How dare you say that about me and my friends? <laughs> oh, golly gee, if those awful puffs just got on the right side of the tracks, they'd belong. Jesus. What? G rated. <laughs> people, like, people are just going to start. I'm done watching. Like, they have a sort of. I think we've lost character. all viewers already. <laughs> How many minutes is this in? Seven? I'm done. Alright, let's start. We're let's sorting start. Marvel characters. You've said yeah. it. Yeah. I said it, but honestly, it was in such a mess, we need to say it again. We'll start with Iron Man. Alright, cool. This is the first one I wrote down. I actually have, like, multiple opinions, but I can see him being either Slytherin, Gl Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin. Mm -hmm. Slytherin. I, 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 I agree. I, Slytherin. Slytherin. I think I lean a little more towards Gryffindor solely because of the color scheme. Don't base it on color oh, scheme! But that's the point! Well, he's clearly not a Ravenclaw, because that was his argument. But, I'm going to vote Slytherin for Iron Man, because he's, he's will justify the end no matter the means. I think he wants to get the job done no matter what. He's very arrogant, has a very high opinion of himself, looks down on people. Not to say he can't be a good guy, but he definitely has a lot of Slytherin methods. Super ambitious. While yes. I agree with yeah. you at the beginning of the MCU, the later it goes on, I, th I see a change. Where? Mm -hmm. Past Avengers. Well, I'm just, he created uh, Ultron. He also kept a thing in his chest that uh, Pepper was really unhappy about because he believes he's the only one that can save everything. Whether or not we're right about that, we'll see in Endgame, but it shows his arrogance through and through and through. He's trying to do the right thing, but the way he gets there doesn't care. And he tried to make it right with the Accords, but also through the Accords, he was forcing something on everyone else. 
Yeah. I, I, one thing I don't really get is how forcing someone, forcing the thing on others is the slow They're mean. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry, you two. Two Slytherins in the house. I can't work under these conditions. Oh, also, I guess we should put in, we're basing this solely on stereotypes. Stereotypes and opinions. This is all so. I knew. I'd base nothing on stereotypes. <laughs> As a Gryffindor, right, <laughs> loving and accepting, okay, of all ca- of all houses, except Hufflepuff. There it is. <laughs> so full of themselves, think they're better than everyone. You know, should I keep going? Just I mean, I'm going to be honest. The that only also, I was going to say it does apply to Slytherin. I'm going to be I honest. Bet. The only basis on the Ravenclaw is him building his own suits. No, yeah, the the, 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 the very, yeah, the he's smart. That's creative. He's smart. So he's a Ravenclaw. Yeah, yeah. So I could. I mean, that, again, that's stereotype. That being said, I I'll concede to the Ravenclaw. That's or to the Slytherin. <laughs> I'll concede to that. That makes the especially you saying he will do whatever it takes to justify the means to his end. I, I agree with. So yeah. I think there's definitely more Slytherin than anything else. Uh, my book Slytherin. 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 Yeah. Slytherin. Yes. Slytherin. Raven Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We sorted one! Yay! Holy Alright, tune in next episode. <laughs> See you next time. Woo. Captain America. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Hmm. Name one friend he wouldn't give his life for. Yeah. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. I can see, that's the thing is I can't see, I can't see, I hear the argument for both Gryffindor yeah, and I do. Hufflepuff. Okay, I could see both, but... Literally, the definition of Hufflepuff is just loyal, kind, like he's all of these things. Yeah. But he's also daring, he's also yeah. brave, he's also athletic, and let's not forget, Gryffindors are willing to do break the rules if they mean it has a good result. Yeah. Cat was ready to go against the entire Accords, he was willing to fight uh, his friend For Iron loyalty. Man. Not for loyalty, because he also felt the Accords was going to be a bad move for all the other heroes. Because yeah, it put him against right some of his closest friends. That had nothing to do with loyalty. It was what he thought was right. While I agree, mm-hmm. I feel like with the Accords point, I feel like most of his other actions are entirely based on friendship. It's He will go to the ends of the earth and break all these rules, do whatever means necessary, because this person needs him to. And I would argue he also did the same thing for Vision in Infinity War. Someone I don't believe is as close of a friend to... But I think that's him always trying to find a better way, a solution. I think Cap just will always try to try, try to do the good thing and rules be darned. Cool. I will argue against that with Vision's part of his team. That's that's enough for him. But it's whether the team broken up or not. That was he was part of his once team, and that's enough to that's enough for him. I would argue. Then I would then argue that yes, Cap is loyal, but I don't think his loyalty to his friends. Encompasses his entire personality. I think more of his bravery does and is willing to constantly fight for the better good, breaking the laws, and be the leader. As opposed to a helpful puff, I would put more in line with someone, I'd hate to say it, like Black Panther. Oh, we're going there next! No, I might change the mind as the video goes. Right now, I don't worry. But that's my final vote is Gryffindor because I think he has more of those qualities. I think the only thing for the helpful puff is like he's loyal to his friend. He's loyal to his friend. He's always looking out for the little guy, which I believe is a half off trait. Mm-hmm. Um, give me that. <laughs> That's literally what their house was founded on. Yeah, yeah, that was just. If you don't feel you belong, join us. We'll show you you do belong. It's the little guy. So it's like, I can't argue against you, but I feel like I see, in person, yeah, in yeah. his character, I see more of the loyalty and kindness of, like, Results the, uh, the bravery and not the other way around. Yeah, I agree. I could see it going either way. I just personally see more. Yeah, so my vote's off above. Yeah, and my vote is Gryffindor. Okay. Because I see more of the, the rest bravery. Of you. That's sorry. Yeah, no. no, I, I mean, I'm going to cut no, you off. I'm not going to last. That's just me trying to last word. Yeah. Oh, I know. No, <laughs> you, you made a good point. I accept it. Coming into this video, I was going to say Gryffindor, and I will stand by that. Dang it. Larence, uh, get out of here. I also have to vote Gryffindor. Uh, Josh? I'd vote Hufflepuff. Yes! yes! He's a Gryffindor. He, he reminds me a lot of Cedric Diggory from the books. Yes. I see that. Yeah. I do see that. So we got, is this the half and half? Looks yeah. Like yeah. All right, cool. He's a Gryffindor. So that means it's up to you guys. I'm voting Gryffindor is where my final vote lands. Hufflepuff. He's raise, a Hufflepuff. Raise your hand for Gryffindor. Lame. Right. Raise your hand for Hufflepuff. Woo!
So clearly, it's See, up to the fans to decide. Let us know guys. what you think in the comments and help us figure out who we, where he belongs. Thor. Gryffindor. That is, that's true. Thor! Any, any arguments? Go for it. No. Uh, no. No arguments. Uh, the only Hufflepuff, I, the only thing I can see is Hufflepuff for, for Loki, and that's it. Go ahead. Gryffindor, yes. For Thor. Thor is Gryffindor. I need yeah. to hear your argument. <laughs> Thor is the most Gryffindor Gryffindor that ever Gryffindor. So what is your argument right now? <laughs> Wait, if you actually have an argument, can we pause? Because we only have four minutes. Well, that's not probably the last word in. Okay. okay. Uh, Thor is clearly a Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> you jerk. I was waiting for it. I knew. So, unanimous Gryffindor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right next to Captain America. <laughs> You're right, right next to Iron Man. Bruce Banner. Ravenclaw. 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 Yeah. Hulk? Yeah, that was going to say Hulk because they're two different people. Gryffindor. 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 Yeah. yeah. He doesn't have enough of a, char of a character to, yeah. to do anything mm -hmm. else with. Mm -hmm. So, it's just kind of it, strong. Gryffindor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Black Widow. Slytherin. Slytherin, Ravenclaw. Shh, not Hufflepuff. Don't make the argument. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say she is my least favorite female character in the MCU besides Scarlet Word. But... It's not her fault. It's they they done her dirty. It, it's, she was written yeah, poorly. It's written. Like, so, like, Captain I don't know Marvel what is like the first... Slytherin? I, based on like her female superhero edgy attitude, I'd say Slytherin. Yeah, yeah. But if they developed her more, I would. I want to say Ravenclaw. She would develop more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the cunningness that she does, yeah, yeah. Which it's, it's like, Slytherin. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go with Slytherin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds pretty. Pretty. Well, she me. tricked Loki. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That, that's that's all I can think of. Bucky. Tear it. Why? Make your argument. Guess he. He's a Hufflepuff, that's why. No, no, why? No, I, my mind blanked as soon as you asked me. <laughs> Is it because John has been saying he's a Hufflepuff? Is that it? <laughs> off off, no. off screen, when we're building up this video, I've been calling him a Hufflepuff. And that's just because I don't like Bucky. Not saying I don't like Hufflepuffs, I'm just not very fond of their useless behavior. Hey, we are fine. We're good at finding. <laughs> don't use that excuse! Know, Everyone's heard that it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see Bucky as a Gryffindor. Because again, there's not a whole lot of character there outside yeah. of I'll run the firefight. Yeah, I see him as a Gryffindor. I agree. There's not enough character. When he's brainwashed as a Winter Soldier, I could see him as Slytherin. Mm. Just because, not just because evil, but because like he he has legitimate plans. He has legitimate plans and will do whatever it takes to get those plans done. Go ahead. I would argue that he's a Slytherin. <laughs> Only time we're gonna agree. Yeah, no, I, I would go more Slytherin than I would Gryffindor for Bucky. I just don't know if I. I think like Infinity War, yeah. he's a Gryffindor. Yeah, he's just in. The, the, the Slytherin isn't there because he has like four lines. And I feel like I, I'm gonna go Slytherin at the end just because as a trait I've seen more of him. Fair enough. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Griff, like. There isn't. He has nothing else to do to really prove we were any other house. The, yeah, yeah, there wasn't enough of doing this. Whether or not you think it's a good idea, I'm going in there. Like, bravery. Cause it's I like, yeah, argue, no, he's just kind of along for the ride. Yeah, I would argue they're all Gryffindors by that point. Yeah, yeah. Off. Hey, let's fight. Yeah, we're going to try to not get killed? Cool. Yeah, no. Slytherin. You slated me, Slytherin. Anybody else argue? I touched the Hufflepuff. <laughs> 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 Come on! <laughs> I was finally becoming okay with my Hufflepuff pride. Hey, Hufflepuff is a beautiful thing. Only to other Hufflepuffs. We're the best. That's the Slytherin. Oh. Yeah, that's the Slytherin. The edge lord of all no. houses. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'd, I'd have to Sorry, agree with you, you guys. Right? He's definitely more of a Slytherin. Any other opinion? On Bucky, no. I, nothing to say on Bucky. Sorry to form an opinion on that. <laughs> Great. No, I, I just had to throw Hufflepuff out there to piss you <laughs> off. War Machine. Oh wait, did we ever agree what he was then? Oh, oh wait, are we taking a vote? I'm good with Slytherin, because right. yeah. I really don't have sure, no I opinion. have no opinion on him, so... War Machine. Another one I don't Yeah, another one that's... I honestly am going to have to agree, just because it's like, the only trait I see of him is loyalty, loyalty to... his friends. Yeah, yeah. Lo loyalty to, uh, to Iron Man. 
Yeah, yeah. I agree. And I that's, see that. It's, Again, he added to his country because he was in the military beforehand. Yeah. So I, I mean, I can see that almost brings up a point of Gryffindor, though. Yeah, military it, service. It could. I could see him as kind of either. I lean more towards Hufflepuff, but I, I could see him being either. Yeah, I mean, he's, he just again, he's one of those that just because he's not one of the main Avengers yeah. doesn't get a whole lot of. Yeah. I feel like I feel like Falcon's gonna get the same treatment because it's like it's it's one of these two because they're sidekick to X character, so. Yeah, I mean, his main yeah. defining traits just seem to be his uh, friendship and loyalty to the other cast members. Mm -hmm. He doesn't really have too many moments where he gets to shine on his own. Fair, very uh, fair. I guess unless you want to argue Iron Man 2 when he fought against Iron Man. That's but even the then, only time, and even then it's because Iron Man's doing so much shit that it's like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm stopping you on this. Yeah. Which is looking out for your friend. Which it, it could be still be a Gryffindor, like, I'm doing what's right, even though... It's gonna be hurting someone I care about in the process, but also I'm gonna argue Puff Puff. Same. Yeah. Puff yeah, Puff. I'd agree. Yeah. Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> Hawkeye. Who? <laughs> <laughs> you mean Oliver Queen? Is that who? <laughs> oh man. Get your DC. Get your own DC. Wearing in a Marvel video. <laughs> I want to argue Ravenclaw, and I don't know why. Like, that's just kind of a gut feeling is Ravenclaw, and I can't that. figure out why. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Because uh, even as I'm thinking about it, I'm like, it, it seems more Slytherin. Yeah, he, he, I think, leans more towards Slytherin. Especially with all the like, trick errors and, and everything. It's, it's, his, his entire thing is... It's not just me because I'm a Slytherin. Like, oh yeah, he's a Slytherin with us. But no, it's... I, I would say Ravenclaw because he is very smart and resourceful with all of his like arrows and gadgets. And yeah, I was about to say. If it, it showed... takes a lot of brains to shoot arrows. Oh yes. Yeah. If it showed him more tactical based, and he was in like in Avengers One when Cap was calling out positions and stuff, if he was if it was him doing it or something like that, and showing more battlefield awareness. And like showing more of the tactician, I could absolutely see that. But against what I literally just said, I think he's more a Slytherin. Mm -hmm. I'm going Hufflepuff. Really? I see no loyalty. I'm going Hufflepuff. Can I get an argument? <laughs> well, he is really lo he's loyal to his friend Natasha, uh, Black Widow. I will say he's very loyal in that regard. He doesn't ask a lot of questions when it comes to orders and things they have to do, even when it came to uh, siding with Cap in Civil War. It's like, all right, this this is the right thing to do. I'm going to do that. Cap and also, well, but, 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 they're great at finding things. And in Avengers <laughs> 1, he found a weakness to the ship. He uh, he found a weakness to Iron Man. He shot that arrow, and Iron Man was like, you missed me. I should have brought it up. <laughs> he was like, what's the name it for have you? Have you watched the musical yet? Yes, I have. No, okay. I, I honestly would argue that, he, uh, from my perspective, he's more of a Hufflepuff. Because I don't think he's extreme in any of the other traits. But when I think of just the simple fact, you're loyal to your team and your friends, and you're going to try to do the right thing. That being and said, like his most like loyal friend, Natasha, in Civil War, he completely betrays her. Never really did. He just chose a different side, yeah, and then they, they still were punches. staying friends and pulling their punches. Yeah, I, I, as soon as they completely the betrays her, I'm, I, I thought of their fight. We're still friends, right? And he's like, yeah, no. And I'd like to point out that he got mind controlled like a Hufflepuff would. All right, <laughs> I'm just messing. I'm about to get you out of this movie because I use this video because John is being better than you right now. I don't know if a, I don't know if a Hufflepuff is so easily mind controlled. Everybody's waiting for the diss. I have no diss. That was all. <laughs> Thank you. It could have happened to anyone. It happened to my Gryffindor cap, so... When? Uh, in the AJ Ultron, she got everybody. I wouldn't know that if Star it would be mind control. Well, no, it happened to a Gryffindor Hulk, at least. Because, like, it was, like, weird visions for everyone, but Hulk seemed like straight mind control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We might as well move on, because the sun's getting real low. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so are we all in agreement, Hufflepuff? Yeah. That's my vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, no, you're like, yeah, that was a very compelling argument. I can't argument. believe I argued for a Hufflepuff for a character I really like. He can't, he doesn't <laughs> contribute enough other character factors yeah. besides yeah. No, secretive. Facts. We'll see what happens in the endgame. Falcon. Please be good. Falcon. Falcon. Gryffindor. Is that because I compare you? Is that because I compare you to Falcon? No, I mean, no. I agree. <laughs> no, because I think he is, he is uh, daring. Uh, he is brave. He's willing to go. He's willing to go in because 
he just got to, wants to get the job done. He's willing to break the rules. And I think he lines up with Cap. I and mean, I think he's loyal to him for a friend, sure. But I think Falcon's just down to do the right thing and go in anyway. So my argument with him is a lot of the same things with War Machine. He's literally just yeah. Captain America Jr. And ex-military, looking out for the little guy. If it wasn't for the scene... Or qualities. If it wasn't for the scene in Winter Soldier when he's taking on three freaking helicarriers by himself, just dipping, dodging, and literally after one goes down, like, he finds out he has to do something else and just dives into it, mm -hmm. I would be persuaded Hufflepuff, but I, I gotta agree with Gryffindor. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with Gryffindor. Larry? He's also red. That's enough for Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Star-Lord. Gryffindor. Let me think for a second. Gryffindor. Let me think. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. He's a Gryffindor. Yeah, I'm going to say Gryffindor. I, I would again argue Hufflepuff. I or maybe say even Hufflepuff. Nope, Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Especially because he did pull the trigger on Gamora. It's like, Gryffindor. He's not really loyal. Gryffindor. Exactly. But that yeah. could be considered loyalty because she asked him to do Still. that. Still. Also, I feel like... I could also get a Slytherin in there. Yeah, I'm loyal. I could get a Slytherin. I feel like being loyal doesn't automatically mean Hufflepuff because yeah. I feel like Gryffindors have loyalty too. But I think it's just a driving force with Hufflepuffs. But I don't for think the that's a driving force for, <laughs> for the sake of stereotypes. Yeah, for the sake of the video, we're just going to have to... I do. research and I will argue all my points. <laughs> <laughs> and I will argue against... <laughs> Hufflepuff lives on! I like the how every hero is those two with arguments, and then we're like, oh yeah, no, I agree with this guy. Yeah. The whole thing for Hufflepuff just is like just like loyal, patient, kind. That's like our only things we got for stereotypes. Well, I don't know if Star-Lord fits those. So. No, yeah, no. I don't, the, ju uh, loyal. Okay, just. Eh. Patient. Uh, 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 so yeah. I, I, I could hear an argument for Slytherin, but I think Gryffindor protrudes more. Yeah, he's definitely mm. more wham bam, jump in, go. Yeah. Guns, uh, shoot first, ask questions later. Yes, definitely. definitely Which is how Spider-Man almost died. Yep. Yeah. Anyways. Gamora. Gamora. I know she's green. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> Gryffindor. Gryffindor because I was going through it where she doesn't do anything that would proves her extreme cunning or creative for Ravenclaw. Uh, for Hufflepuff, as far as loyalty to friends, patience, kind, maybe she's deep down but it's not really her driving force. So I left him with uh, Slytherin and Gryffindor. And the only reason I chose Gryffindor at the end of the day is because I think she's daring and will always go to the bat to try to do the right thing no matter the side that she's on. When she was uh, Hunting uh, uh, in the first Guardians when she was sort of kind of against them in a weird way. From her perspective, she was really trying to do the right thing. Uh, then in Guardians 2, when she's trying to help out Quill and they're fighting his dad. Spoilers if you haven't seen it, I guess. Uh, I think she showed a lot of actions of her just being daring, brave, trying to do the right thing. Trying to help Quill support him with his dad thing. Also trying to uh, sort of break him out of it as well. And then in Infinity War... The way that played out, I also think that was a lot of Gryffindor action. So like, whatever it takes, kill me. Say, yeah. yeah, kill me to yeah. keep this information from. Yeah, no, she, it's Slytherin. not very self-serving in a Slytherin way. She's and especially, very... especially if it's down to Gryffindor and Slytherin, I see no traits in her that are Slytherin. There is mm -hmm. no real cunning to her actions. It's most of it's straightforward. Yeah, it's very. This is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to do it. And it was no personal gain for her either. It exactly. Was all... And yeah. in Infinity War, when uh, they're in the ship, and they're like, yeah, we're going to rob their ship. They don't do what we want. She's like, no. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Sure, yeah. Like, like she's actually trying to be a guardian of the galaxy. Mm -hmm. Wait, the, she's like the one. <laughs> <laughs> Gryffindor. Every, everybody uh, I have been swaying. Like, Gryffindor. That one was tough. I agree, because I had... I had a hard time I getting had, a read on her. Yeah, yeah. anywhere yeah. on there. It's, it's just because she just kind of... Yeah. Not necessarily there, because she has a defined character, yeah. but a lot of it's just, I'll do what's necessary. It's like, that could be... Why? That could house. fit anything. Yeah. yeah. Alright. <laughs> Next one. Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. I am Groot. I, you know what? I was on the fence, but I think I agree. Uh, Swayed it. I am Groot. 
No, we are Groot. We are Groot. No, he's right. He's right. I heard you, but he's right. He's right. Sway it. We're actually doing it. Are we actually not gonna change that? Out? Does he have a personality outside that? I mean, Hufflepuff. He's got. He's with Rocket. I, I, I believe he said it all. Fair enough. We are grouped. All right. <laughs> Rocket. Slytherin? Slytherin, yeah. Steals the batteries for his own gain. Slytherin, absolutely yeah. Slytherin. Oh, yeah. Tells him to steal the dude's leg just to make him steal the leg. Just to see if he Absolutely just Slytherin. Leg. What's his face look like? Slytherin, 100%. <laughs> Drax. Gryffindor? Yeah. I'm gonna punch him. He's got two Infinity Stones. I'm gonna punch him hard. Gryffindor? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. He actually might be a Ravenclaw. Please explain mm. now. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to explain. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Hufflepuff, and then I was like, okay, he's loyal to his friends, but you go Ravenclaw. Most of it was based off vengeance, so it's yeah, like no, I most of it was I'm. This yeah, is to, for my dead so, yes, wife and daughters. Okay. Uh, clearly, he's a genius. <laughs> When All right, he was you're, invisible, you're done. He was <laughs> invisible when he was eating the chips. That's and I couldn't true. See him. That's true. <laughs> Don't encourage him. Um, uh, He's right. He has, he has the best plan. He runs in, ah, clearly baiting his enemies. <laughs> see what they can do while his fr- allies go around. He could all be an uh, uh, He had a jetpack, but he was aware it might hurt his nipples. Therefore... Thinking, constantly thinking, constantly Did using his brain, all, always one step ahead of his opponent. So, uh, also, he was the first to recognize that that Quill was a dude, but Thor was a man. I think that's the only <laughs> thing, that is the only thing you've said the that is The fact that you felt something at all in there. Swayed him. Gryffindor. 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 Oh, fuck yourselves. Shall we take a 12 vote? Gryffindor? Gryffindor? Gryffindor, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You're all wrong. (laughs) Crap, she's the editor. No, Andrew, you can't. (laughs) Okay, Nebula. Slytherin. Slytherin. Wait, she's blue. Swayed yeah, Ravenclaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Slytherin mean, will do anything yeah. to, to justify her means. Yeah. Willing to go the extra mile. Will crash a ship because she's pissed at her sister. Yeah. 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 I was yeah. just thinking, she's kind of mean. Slytherin. That's all it took for me. Easy. Slytherin. Fair enough. Mantis. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. She's an she doesn't. I say Hufflepuff. Cinnamon. She's a cinnamon roll. She's like she's a, a, she's a Hufflepuff. She's a cinnamon roll. I, I, I'll accept that because yeah. it's like it's she doesn't have enough traits otherwise. Her, her, her entire character. Her personality part, is I want to be everyone's friend. Her personality is I'm here. Mm-hmm. Baku. Baku. Gryffindor. I can't see anything besides Gryffindor because yeah, he, he didn't have enough. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Hang on. Because there's no loyalty to his king. It's just I'm doing you this favor. Say Gryffindor, yeah. He yeah, yeah. Go and fight Black Panther. Yeah. The mantle. He clearly led them during the time period they weren't part of the rest of Wakanda tribe. Mm. So mm. Gryffindor. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm trying not to do Griff. Uh, can't think of anything. Gryffindor. They fight. But yeah, no. That, it, that with some of these, it's hard to give anything else. So yeah. yeah. Give with what we're giving. And now, so, the one I dressed for, Black Panther. Puff puff puff. Loyal to his people to a Huff, fault Huffle would Puff. die for them. So much so that they feel the same way back. Their king is great, and he thinks his people are great. I'm going off on a tangent, and I apologize because that's not this is not relevant whatsoever. But yeah, no, he's he's he tries to be a just king, and like whenever he sees his father has messed up, he's like, that was wrong. That was there is no sure you may have done it for this, but it was it was still wrong. There's a way we could have done this, and had it both work out for both our people. And for this child, my cousin. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I, I'd have to, I think he has definitely some grin, Gryffindor tendencies. Absolutely. But I think he represents they're a super yeah, great they leader. All have a Gryffindor oh, tendencies great because leader. they're super. Because leaders. if he was not king, if we were going like basically pre Civil War, I would absolutely say Gryffindor. But because of his seeing his king in Black Panther, <coughs> oh, no. 
Mm-hmm. He cranks out the Griffin only needs it, but oh yeah, 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 no, no, he's the mo- he's one of yeah. the most Gryffindor Hufflepuffs. Buffs. I'd say right that, yeah. up there with Captain America. Yeah. Okoye, the uh, the the <laughs> captain of the guard, the general. For, for, yeah, general of the guard for Black Panther, the bald one, spear. I think she's a Gryffindor, but oh. her position makes her a Hufflepuff esque. But I think she's on because a she defied her position for uh, T'Challa. I will say Hufflepuff. In Black Panther, whenever she, like, there was another king, she was completely supposed to follow him. He won fair and square in that, in the Warrior Falls. And when oh. it came down to it, she completely turned on him for so T'Challa. she broke the law. Yeah, for a friend. broke the, the right rules. thing. To, to do for the right, a, no, for to someone do the right thing and serve the real king. For loyalty. For loyalty to the, to the real, real king. king. For loyalty. Much like a Griffin doll would do. The real T'Challa. I knew that. Like her king, she is a hover <laughs> No, I, I, I'm going to stick with my argument. I think she's a Gryffindor that has to play a football position, but I think she's a Gryffindor deep down. See, she's I can't... She's just really good at serving her position. I, I can't... I can't agree with she's that. A, I think she's a restrained Gryffindor. <laughs> if it was the, the because her position is what I agree I disagree with, because it's like, yes, she's loyal because of her position, but she obviously goes beyond that. Because yeah. it's, it's as a Gryffindor would. As, as yeah. a Hufflepuff so like would. Beyond. Ignores her duty for her friends. He, just, he, he said something like a Gryffindor. Like, Gryffindors Loyalty. are like, willing to break the rules to do what they believe is right. And also, I, I, the loyalty thing is like, okay, she is loyal to her friend, and she's loyal to her king. However, and also, she was playing well, true with that loyalty trait. I think she would have stuck with it when uh, Michael B. Jordan's character took over. However, I think because of her position, it has a loyalty that has to stick to it. And yes, they are friends. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to ride right or die. But I think ultimately, she's a Gryffindor as a, a Hufflepuff position, and she's just really good friends with the guy. But All I right. think she's a Gryffindor ultimately. Her still voting Hufflepuff. Which one's going back now? I think I'd vote for Hufflepuff on that one. Nice. Hufflepuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go Gryffindor. I'm so okay. cheery. Oh, we're doing this next. Ravenclaw. 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 <laughs> Are you really? serious? Yeah, no. She's literally a She's genius. brave enough to get her brother, oh, the don't king, pull a Java. knocked. Sure. Sure. Don't pull a Java. Like, the previous person was definitely a Gryffindor, she's definitely a Ravenclaw, so. Alright, let's not. Let's not. Let's not, let's not do yeah, no, we're not going let's back. Let's not doing definitely, because this is all opinion right now. Definitely. We're not going back. Raven, she's a Ravenclaw. Gryffindor. Keep moving forward. Do we agree? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Move on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Larry finally all, speaks. All Larry yeah. needs is my <laughs> word. Calm down, Larry. All take Calm. turns talking. Calm down. Larry don't, finally don't, speaks. Don't dominate the conversation. That was the funniest thing we took. Talk, we took turns. <laughs> Larry wants me to skip on the list because he wants to go to the next character. No, don't skip on the list. No, you've been skipping. Because I was doing all the Black Panther. Larry, okay, Larry. continue on this. Calm down. <laughs> Stop yelling at the host. <laughs> We take turns speaking. <laughs> Angela, continue on. Continue on. Ant Man. <laughs> Nothing. He's everything. Yeah. Everything except Ravenclaw. Let me, let me think. There's no. I can argue. I can argue Hufflepuff because everything he does is for his daughter. That's. I was about to bring yeah, up that. He, he knows he's doing. The thing, well, that could also be uh, But he's also Slytherin because he's very cunning. Like yeah, he, he's he's a, a he's a crafty he bastard. A thief, I guess before. Yeah, yeah he, he, he was he, a thief. He's incredibly yeah. crafty. Like the way he get down, gets through that safe. Well, that could also make him a call. God, I think the only one I'm not leaning toward this time is Gryffindor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say Slytherin. I would say Slytherin. I know Slytherin, but I can see. I, I could see yeah. any okay. of those three. In the first Ant Man, I would completely argue he's a Hufflepuff. And everything else, I'd say Slytherin. This one's hard. Yeah. I'm going to go with Slytherin. Okay. That's what I'm going to call. I can agree with that. Because I think he'll do yeah. he'll, the ends yeah. of spots to me. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Then, yeah, yeah. That works. Slytherin. Yeah. Okay. Slytherin it is. Um, Wasp? I, I, I had nothing. I had nothing. I had nothing. Door. I, okay. I don't know. I could also see Slytherin, because she will do whatever it takes to get what she needs, and will... Just that line, like, it doesn't... Like, uh, would you have, um... 
if I had asked you to come with me to fight with Captain America, would you have? We'll never know, but if you had, you wouldn't get caught. I see that as a Slytherin line. Ravenclaw. <laughs> Her dad's a Ravenclaw, <laughs> to be honest. Yes. No. Yeah. Uh, Friggin' nerd. Know. I'm the one that brought, that brought her up, like, we should put her on the list, and now it's like, I don't even know. She doesn't have enough of a defined character to fit into any of these Maybe. stereotypes. Maybe we should leave it up to the viewers and let them tell us down in the comments below what they think. Or that's stupid. She's a Slytherin. Yeah, <laughs> All right. I personally go with Slytherin. Fine, then. I'm, trying I'm just to... trying to keep them involved. I'm just, I, I want to kind of say Gryffindor, but that's just me thinking like, oh, are there opposites? But she actually, she actually leans more towards Slytherin. I yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't see them as the same type of Slytherin. Yeah. But, like, I don't see her as a Gryffindor, because no point is, it, what, is her charging in. I'm like, that's a brave yeah. thing to do. No, like, agreed, agreed. No, no it's I'm all the, she's absolutely cunning right. and calculated, Definitely. for sure. I, I'd say I'd lean more towards Slytherin. Yeah, I see that. Um, I could maybe see Ravenclaw, but... Loki? Slytherin or Hufflepuff. Go, uh, Larry. Argument, go ahead. I'm just pulling you, Jolly. Cool. <laughs> hey, hey, this is a serious video. Okay. Bring it down. Drax is a Ravenclaw, Mr. Get, serious over lose here! The tube. Lose the two. Mm -hmm. right, <laughs> Larry yelled at me. I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep yelling at you until you lose the two. <laughs> Everyone's favorite girl, Scarlet Witch. Woo! Go ahead and make a joke. Make a joke. About uselessness and Hufflepuff. Yeah, go ahead and make it. Why would I say that? Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll say Hufflepuff. Ah, uh, don't put that Yeah, she's loyal, right? Because she's so loyal. She would not sacrifice vision because, because, because okay, of her yes. loyal That's the entire to flow. But in, in, to I will fault, say yeah. in, in um, Age of Ultron, she's Slytherin, 100%. Every other movie, she's, she's she Hufflepuff. Because she was bad. Because she was cunning. She was absolutely, like, mind-tricking, completely, uh... No, no, like, yeah, absolutely. Because she... she was loyal to Ultron. Was she? No. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Age of Ultron, Slytherin, Slytherin then Hubble Hubble Hubble. The Absolutely. I, I would still say uh, Slytherin in Infinity War. Because, like, would not. Vision was willing to risk his life, but she... Personally, cared too much. Swayed it! Yes. Slytherin! Yes! yes. Swayed it, Slytherin. Yes. Yep. She was willing to do what she wanted and get she what she wanted. Did what she wanted because uh, no matter the outcome. Swayed. I, Good argument. I, I wanted to still say Hufflepuff, but no, yeah, Slytherin. Cool. You got me there. Yeah. Nice. Dang. Vision. Who cares? Ravenclaw. <laughs> Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. <laughs> Ravenclaw. <laughs> I'm sorry. That he's, a, he's a walking computer. He's a Ravenclaw. Hey, Ravenclaw. I'm giving an honest thought now. Yeah, no, go for it, go for it. But yeah, no, I completely he's agree with you. not one of us. Not a Gryffindor. No. He's none of us. No he's none, none of us. Yeah, no. Yeah, screw it. Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Mm -hmm. I don't, it's not because I think he's that smart. It's he's a living computer. I don't think he fits anywhere else. I don't like Vision. I'm oh, sorry. no, I don't either. He's the worst character. <laughs> Spider-Man. Ravenclaw. At least part. Gryffindor. He is a very yeah, intelligent I can person. see either he great or the Gryffindor. He is incredibly intelligent. But... The fact that he's just yeah the, the the stowaway on the on the spaceship makes me think Gryffindor. Yeah, yeah. And Gryffindor that and his, willing, his yeah. willingness to do whatever it takes to help someone. But he can't. Help yeah, him. you you could make the argument of loyalty to the loyalty to his to his neighborhood or whatever. Yeah, but, but it's. It's exactly. more, it's more Gryffindor, I think, he's, because he's he was willing. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. That was not me. As if much there's as no I... neighborhood to save. Oh my god! <laughs> so because, it's loyalty. <laughs> you know what? Oh, just, you're right. Thank you. You convinced me. John. In Spider-Man: Homecoming, he was willing to defy Tony Stark to keep being Spider-Man and keep protecting people and do what he thought was right. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, that's Gryffindor all the way for me. No, yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I do that. definitely see your your point of. Uh, 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 Ravenclaw, because he did mm -hmm. make his own webbing. Well, yeah, he's Gryffindors can be smart. I don't know why. Yeah, that I know. doesn't omit the other he's qualities. Yeah. Well, he's he's like, like, can can be brave. Brave. That's what I was gonna say. No, don't get crazy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Calm down, Joe. I'm sorry. Man. I don't know. You're no, right. No, Spider Man if can Gryffindors be very strategic. Can be smart, yeah, yeah. Ravenclaws can be brave. Which one shows more, though? The bravery. I would say the Gryffindor shows more. I know. Could would his Gryffindor side be useful if it weren't for his 
Ravenclaw technology. I can't tell if yes. you're really arguing this or trolling no, us. No, I mean, he's he's kind of, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of... Because let him stick up for himself. <laughs> I'm trying to yeah. argue for myself because no, I'm on the fence right I now. Would argue that I would then argue more so that... I'm sorry, it's just a passion argument. But uh, I'll argue more so because in every every uh, movie As, he's in, he can't help but try to do the right thing, no yeah. matter the decision. And then no matter the situation, it's like, not always the smart thing either. Yeah, he was always going to try to fight and do the right thing. I think, yeah, he's smart, but Bra- yeah. I think his bravery overwrites his brains. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. I'm coming off on the comics as well. I've been reading the okay, comics. Okay, uh, because I, I know in the comics. It. I know, I know. MCU. I know. Just in the comics, I know he's so passionate about science. In the comics? Oh, yeah. Ravenclaw. I will, okay. I will, I will okay. be completely swayed. Yeah, so, yeah, I think like, the MCU, I have to give it to It's just Ravenclaw. merging so much because I've been reading the heck out of the Tom comics. Holland, you so, are but, precious. I will say. Definitely both ways. He's but, my sweet little cinnamon roll, though, so I want him to be a healthy I, I, I want him to, but it's like, there, 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 are, not, there are enough trees there. No. He did find his way into the Avengers. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Also, Tom Holland is 1,000% a Hufflepuff. Even oh, Tom Holland, yeah. He yeah. says he's a Gryffindor, but he's 1,000% a Hufflepuff. No, yeah. Don't you disrespect me. But, like y'all want to vote? Since technically we're... Gryffindor! Gryffindor, Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Sorry. I hear you. Your I, I, no, 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 no. I, I'm just even on both. Honestly. Fair enough. It's okay to be wrong. <laughs> Doctor Strange. Ravenclaw. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm leaning towards Ravenclaw. Oh. I could also slither in there. But... Yeah. I would say at the beginning of his movie, he was a total slither. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. As it develop, as he develops throughout the movie and throughout uh, Infinity War, he's. To me, he definitely seems like a Ravenclaw. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah throughout, as the movie develops, his drive changes. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry, but his drive definitely changes from to further himself to being to further magic and protect magic and everything. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Everyone agree? Yeah, Ravenclaw. Cool. Mm. Did I steal what you were going to say? I'm sorry. It was in the same vein, so yeah, yeah no, it's fine. <laughs> Val- Valkyrie. Oh, right, she exists. <laughs> yeah, Gryffindor? Uh, no, because uh, yeah. she was hiding out for so long, I'd actually say the beginning of the movie, Slytherin at least, Slytherin. Gryffindor. But yeah. toward the end, it's Gryffindor. I will argue at the end of the day, she's a Gryffindor who just took a blow in life and took on Slytherin tendencies. But I think yeah, the inner heart is gripping. I would have to rewatch the movie, so yeah, I, 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 know, I, I had, had no say. I had no say. Because, well, yeah, beforehand, she was, you know, one of the elite. Uh, group of, from Asgard, and which yeah. was clearly Gryffindor, and then just took a hard blow and yeah. just receded and decided to try got, to get away yeah, from everything. Yeah, just got scared. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, I think, I would have argued Slytherin if she had a different motive towards the final battle, but... Yeah, if it was, like, to avenge all of them, or specifically because Hela XXYY, whatever. Mm. But it's like, no, Asgard needs to be saved. Let's go. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Right? Captain Marvel. Gryffindor. Yeah. She wears red. <laughs> yeah. She I don't punches know. first. I haven't seen later yet. Yeah. Gryffindor. I'd say Gryffindor. Yeah. Open to arguments against. Uh, <laughs> She's like, spoilers for Captain Marvel, by the way. Spoilers for everything so far. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Like Captain Marvel's the newest one, so. I feel like she's like the epitome of the Gryffindor to me. Daring, brave, always want to push the mold. Finds out that what she's been following is wrong morally, like, no, these are the bad guys. Immediately turn sides. I mean, I want to make an argument for Ravenclaw, but may- I think she's, maybe she has more Ravenclaw. She has Ravenclaw tendencies. I agree, actually. Mm-hmm. Like, she has a few Ravenclaw qualities. Ravenclaw. <laughs> Ravenclaw. <laughs> Raven qualities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I- I think Gryffindor outshines everything yeah. else. Though. Yeah, I, I, I agree. agree. I agree. Yeah. Ultimately, Gryffindor. Like, she outshines everything. <laughs> she's bright. Yeah. Shine anyway. <laughs> so, all in agreement. You may not be on screen. Yeah. Good. This is perfect. <laughs> no one can see my face. I am an enigma. Please don't hit me. Yondu. 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 Mary Poppins. <laughs> Mary Poppins, y'all! He... Started off as a I was kind that of, man went I down was as joking, a Gryffindor. Kind of. I love him. Though. I think he's a great. Ca- I think he's a fun character, but like Hufflepuff. Either Hufflepuff or Slytherin. Slytherin. I, I know. Like, he died a Gryffindor. I think. 
I think he died of humble bugs. Yeah, that's what says. Loyalty to his boy. He's Mary Poppins. Here. I'm okay yeah. with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Rest I, in I peace. I thought he was Slytherin ultimately, though. Yeah, because I felt like the majority of the time he was Slytherin. Yeah, he just had he just made a few yeah. Hufflepuff acts. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. Slytherin. Yeah. I, I don't. Yeah, overall, I'm not Slytherin. Now. Nick Fury. Is it wrong? I want to be like Gryffindor. Yes. Um, I mean, he's I the leader, Gryffindor. No. I, I, I completely uh, sleep, especially thing. just Winter Soldier alone. Mm-hmm. Slytherin. Slytherin. Yeah, I would say I had to say Slytherin or Ravenclaw, but leaning yeah. definitely more towards Slytherin because of some of that. Uh, the means that he uses yeah. to get. He there. has good intentions. Oh, but he'll, he'll do stuff behind people's backs to get those things done. But, yeah. Blow up one of his own men from dropping a bomb in New York. Absolutely, which I think was the right call, Slytherin but a complete move. Slytherin move. Oh yeah, yeah. And big purple. Big purple, Thanos. Say Slytherin, definitely. I think he's the most he, Slytherin, he Slytherin that ever Slytherin. I, I see him as either Slytherin or a Gryffindor. He's I the most Slytherin. Gryffindor. I I, I need Gryffindor to hear the argument. Because he, he, he I know, was I, yeah, yeah. willing to cross, he was willing to do what needed to be done and what was right in his eyes. What he believed to be the right thing to do, he made it happen. But uh, isn't that the Slytherin? I, I yeah. do think he's uh, ambitious, power hungry. Um, uh, I do think all those are Slytherin traits that come out, but I think it comes from a Gryffindor core. He sees an injustice in the universe. He, he's willing to pick up the mantle, do what's right. He's going to break every rule it takes to get there. Uh, also, arrogance. Arrogance is a huge flaw of Gryffindors. I think every flaw inside of him is a Gryffindor-based flaw. I think he's a Gryffindor to the extreme. So far so, it comes across as Slytherin. But in his world and view, he's right. And he's trying to do it in a very indiscriminate way. He's trying to save the universe. He gains nothing. But the means he's going to save it, I'd say, are ultimately Slytherin. I do think he has a means justifies the ends mentality, mm-hmm. but I do think it's, again, I would argue it comes from a Gryffindor core. That's just... I, I think I, we're actually going to put this into a vote. Yeah, yeah. I, I think like, it comes I from a Gryffindor core. A, a Slytherin tendencies for sure, and that's the way it comes out. But I think, from, if I'm watching it from his perspective, Gryffindor all the way. I have no doubt See. that he thinks he's a Gryffindor. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but from the outside looking in, I think he's a Slytherin. But isn't doesn't doesn't that matter what you are on the inside? Does out? it? Because Harry was a Slytherin, but he chose to be a Gryffindor. Not only bring that argument up. Oh, damn it. It's because we're arguing but, <laughs> because from everybody else's perspective. Everybody, I only bring that up because everyone else's perspective. Harry, you're a Gryffindor, and that was your choice. Yeah, sure. But with Thanos, it's like from everyone else's perspective. For me, it's like you're a Slytherin. If I was you, I think you're a Gryffindor only. Yeah. I ain't saying I want you in the house. <laughs> like, if I saw you, like, yeah, he a Slytherin, he ain't one of ours. But I, I, I vote Gryffindor. Dang it. I also vote Gryffindor. As do I. I still say Slytherin. Fair enough. I, I can't, I, I yeah, can't, I, I, can't I, I, argue. It's, it's yeah. a very tough call for it on him, but, uh, I, I, I can see it going job, either way. I can't believe it. But I think he swayed me. Because... It wasn't his personal gains he was trying to meet. It was for the good of the universe. That's the point I was trying to get across like at the beginning. I just said it terribly uh, and y'all were like, well yeah, Slytherin. I'm like, that's not what I meant. No, but, he's not, uh, but, but no. Uh, I think it might be Gryffindor. We walk him to agree with the Thanos. Technical difficulties, but we decided that Thanos was a Hufflepuff while you were there. Yeah, Thanos yeah. definitely a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Jabba was the one that actually made the argument surprisingly. Yeah, he completely changed his mind and decided that Thanos was a Hufflepuff. And uh, I can't believe it, but I agree with him. So. <laughs> well, nothing, said, nothing changed. We all can, we convinced Angela that Thanos is a Gryffindor. I still say Slytherin. Like, he's, he thinks yeah. he's a Gryffindor, but no, that man's Slytherin. Basically, I yelled a lot <laughs> and got very angry because I was so sure Thanos was a Slytherin. But then he made me realize that um, his, his motives, even though his means are very Slytherin, his motives are very Gryffindor, 
is driving forces for the good of the universe. Yeah, he, he, he yep. thinks he's doing the right thing. And especially and he discriminately. Could, he could go to he could go to planet to planet and decide you die, you die, you die, you live, you live, you die, you live. But it's no, he's getting all his powers so we can do it indiscriminately. It does not matter who you are, it does not matter what you've done, there's equal chance for you to just live and equal chance for you to die. Poor Spider Man. Because he, he doesn't want the power simply for the sake of power, at least that's not displayed. He wants it to do the action and he wants to do it in a snap. So he doesn't have to keep going and killing and killing and killing. Uh, and I got very angry. And I wanted to flip a table, but there's no table. But since we're still a split party, we're going to still have a poll for you guys. And then I'll put it in the video, whoever won. Also, let us know down below. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. I, 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 I'm so angry about I it. I hear the side on Slytherin, but it's like I just. Yeah. I I, I. I think that fits the motives more than the means. Right. I mean the, the means. means more than the motives. You know what I mean? Internet. So how about we make a part two to give you all something to look forward to? Oh wait, channel plugs. Oh, oh, yeah, yes. no, we're getting to the outro. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please argue down below. If you think we're completely wrong, I know I'm right, but if you think they're wrong, and uh, Com comment below if you want a part two. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna do it anyways. We would love to do this again. No, no, no. It's up to you guys. It's up nice. to you guys. Their support would be nice. Also, we're gonna do it anyways. Any other no, suggestions? No, no, no. It's up to you guys. If you disagree, though, anyways. give us other suggestions for like characters from different series to put into like Hogwarts houses. I yeah. think it'd be fun to do with other series too. Yeah. You want to plug your channels? Yes! We are Castaway Brothers, me and him, him and me. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you go check us out. We have a gaming channel on YouTube. This. Because um, uh, words. We're, we're just now, uh, we're just about to start a Kingdom Hearts 3 playthrough. That's going to be it's, interesting. It's an interesting, interesting ride so far. It's, uh, he, he, he loves it, and I'm not in the same boat. <laughs> uh, also... Make sure you check out our Mario Party playthrough because yes. everybody in this video was in that with us. It was so much fun. We had so much laughs. He was asleep for about three episodes. <laughs> he was asleep for a couple episodes, but he did end up waking up and contributing. But uh, we had a lot of fun. So, you know, we, we try to just have, hang out and have a lot of fun on our channel. So y'all come have a good time, relax, hang out with us. And uh, That's Castaway Brothers. Don't forget it. Angel did a short film. And we did do a short film with Angela here on this channel, Fictional Fangirl. Angela wrote it. It's called Writer's, Writer's Block. Block. I was in it. He was in it. Uh, he the got other... stabbed. He, he I got did stabbed get stabbed. Uh, everybody else I still out. have a scar. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Um, I believe there's also a behind-the-scenes video for that on this channel. If you haven't seen those, make sure you go check those out. Those are very awesome. And Java's channel? channel? Oh, my channel is Java Moody. I uh, just had some of the films I've done on there. If you just want to check them out, that'll be dope. Mm -hmm. Not really much of a YouTube channel, but cool films to watch. Good like enough. Goblin Market. Goblin Market. A lot of views. How many views, Java? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. I think you're lying, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll respect your wishes. Oh, like 7,000. <laughs> I don't have a channel of blood, but... <laughs> Yay! But thank you for being here, Josh. Yeah. Larry has a channel, but he doesn't use it. I do not. Anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a part two, but your support would be nice, so just go ahead and comment and tell us you would like us to do one. That way people think you actually wanted us to do it. But <laughs> <laughs> comment down below and argue with us. I already said that, so I'll probably edit that part out. Don't. She said something funny right then, so you couldn't. If you want to support her GoFundMe page so she can pay more actors like us to participate, <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you guys are getting paid? Um, what no? What are you talking about? You said you said they were volunteers! They are! I got paid in pizza. I don't know what we're talking about. I can send you my Venmo now or later. No, <laughs> I, I I have Venmo. Do you? Sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so glad you found it in your heart. <laughs> you humble. <laughs> <laughs>